Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, come gather around the soft glow of your devices and turn the speakers up to 11. Today is Sunday, the 31st of March, 2024. We're all here together tonight to spend a, a lovely Easter evening with each other. You know, I can't thank you enough for all stopping by. It means a lot, you know. Uh, you know, as always, I like to, to start these things off by thanking these guys that come back every week, time after time. You know, it means a lot that uh, you guys check the show out. You know, uh, it, you know, thanks a lot. I, I, I owe you guys so much, you know. And uh, something I kind of owe you all is a little uh, little bit of an apology. You know what I mean? I, I kind of flaked out a little bit uh, the last week or so. You know, the uh, the Magoo here, he had some, some shit pop off in his personal life, you know, and it was, uh, oh, it, it floored him. You know what I mean? It, uh, it, it took me a while to get past it, you know what I mean? But I, I'm here tonight, and I'm just so very grateful that y'all, you know, like, decided to stop by and check in on me and all that. You know, it, it meant a lot, you know. I wish I, I could say I spent the week, you know, dealing with the stuff in a, a, a healthy and productive manner, man. But, I mean, when I said it, it floored me. I was literally, like, just curled up in bed hiding from the world. You know, I wasn't I wasn't doing much of anything, you know. But, uh, you know, re resiliency is 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 uh, a virtue, you know what I mean? You got to drag yourself up out of bed and, and move on and stuff. So, uh, you know, th that's what we got. That's what we got going on right now. That's where we find ourselves here tonight, you know, amongst uh, friends and family, being social, having a, a, a good little time here tonight, you know, and, uh, it, you know, like the, uh, the stream title said, there will be food, but we're going to wait a little bit, you know, we're, we're going to eat a little bit later, you know, but, uh, let me check into the the chat real quick. Let me say hi to uh, oh, to Mr. Uh, Christopher Helms. You know, uh, thanks for for saying hello in the chat and everything like that. It means a lot that uh, you here. The uh, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. It, the idea for tonight's stream actually came to me uh, while I was shooting the the video uh, I posted earlier this week. Like originally. I didn't think I was going to do much anything like that because, you know, today is Easter Sunday and I didn't know, you know, like maybe you guys had, had family obligations. You know, I, I didn't know how great the uh, the attendance would be or the, the want for a stream in the first place. But, you know, I, I'd figure I'd turn it on. You know, I know uh, at least me personally, you know, a, a lot of my family or the surviving members of my family, you know, a lot of my family is dead, unfortunately, the, the ones I cared about the most, you know. But uh, it, the remaining members of the Magoo clan are rather, like, spread out and everything like that. You know, so I'm not really spending a, uh, today with my family or anything like that. I, I popped by a buddy's house uh, earlier just to hang out or whatever, you know. But he had his own family commitments around, like, dinner time. So I only chilled for a few, you know. But, uh... You know, I, I figure there might be people out there like me, just sitting there, hanging out around the house, you know, not really spending the uh, the, the Easter Sunday with anyone. So I figure, you know, I, I'd put this little thing on so, you know, we, we could all at least be together. You know, no one uh, no one eats alone tonight. You know, we're, we're all going to have ourselves a nice little uh, nice little Thanksgiving dinner here at the, the, the friggin' the stream. I, myself plan to be dining on uh turkey uh, you know with, with all the fixing we're not doing the, the ham dinner tonight here i guess we're doing turkey um uh, you know if you guys had yourself a nice little easter dinner you know let me let me know in the chat and everything let me know what you guys had i mean really it uh you're only down to the the ham and turkey choices these time of year anyway but uh you know like i said earlier the idea for tonight's dream came while I was making that little video, it just popped into my head, you know, like, oh, you know, you're going to have yourself a little little turkey dinner, a little holiday dinner and everything like that. And then dinner is somehow in my head translated to uh, uh, TV dinners. And then that translated to, like, uh, do a little, like, product review. You know what I mean? So I went down to the store. I, I, I wormed my way over to the little frozen food section. Uh, fought my way through all the fat people and everything and I picked up myself some some TV dinners for us to sample here tonight my friends and I have a variety I mean I I am so dedicated uh, uh to the art of streaming bullshit that I picked up not one no not two no but three three different uh 
TV dentist for us to sample here tonight. We're gonna we're gonna rip them open. We're gonna try them out. We're gonna give a little review. Where where is that shit? I, I got all right. Hold on a second. Let me duck down here and grab them. But it what's remarkable to me too is that anyone who knows you know the the art of preparing one of these delicacies knows that you got to thaw them out to a degree before you put them in the microwave you can't just throw them in there a block of ice you're never going to eat them you're going to have to microwave them for an hour right so i took all of these out this whole stack i took these things out like six hours ago and threw them on top of the fridge thinking that they would thaw out in time but no look. you hear that these things are still hot as fuck i mean they're still frozen all the way through so, I mean, I'm going to have to nuke these bad boys on, on, you know, Chernobyl setting to be able to, like, thaw these out to get to eat them all in time, you know. But, uh, you know, it, I planned this thing. Let me tell you, it, I went off to the supermarket, right? And as soon as I got there, <clears throat> like I said earlier, fighting my way through the fat people. Man, I swear to God, every time I go to the supermarket, right, you turn down the aisle, and you can already see them. You can spot the slow-ass, retarded person that's just going to, like, park their cart sideways in the aisle and block everyone. And you see them, and you just know. You just know that they are going to stop directly in front of the product that you turned down that aisle to get, you know? And and th there was no difference, you know what I mean? You almost have to sit there and, and queue up and stand in line if you want to pull a product out of the frozen food section you know in, in my local inner city uh supermarket i mean it's just it's just such shit you know but i get there <clears throat> and my whole plan falls apart right i knew i was going to get myself a diet option to try i was going to grab myself a mid option and the only saving grace i had in this whole tv dinner you know, a product trying thing. The only saving grace I was looking forward to, right, was the hungry man. Because I knew that these these things are going to suck ass. They're going to be disgusting. But I held out for the hungry man. I'm like, if anyone's going to, if anyone's going to be there for me, if anyone's going to get me through, it's going to be the hungry man. You know what I mean? It's a name I can trust. It's a brand that somehow in my head clicks that I'll get this and it won't be that shitty, you know? So I go through this whole entire, you know, like friggin' refrigerator second section, looking for the hungry man. I finally see it, man. I feel like Indiana Jones seeing that little fucking tiki thing that he pulls up and replaces with the sand. You know, I'm ready to go and, and grab my fucking hungry man, right? And I'm looking through the entire, like, freezer section, and hungry man does not offer a basic ass turkey dinner, like, option. You know what I mean? There is no hungry man, or at least in in my supermarket, there was no hungry man, just regular ass turkey dinner. You know, they had like this bullshit battered dapped fried chicken or a battered dipped fried chicken and steak, whatever the hell. But they just, they did not have a, a, a basic, just like turkey mashed potato stuffing. They didn't have no, no basic, you know, turkey dinner. So I was like snubbed on the hungry man, you know. So the the one saving grace that I was looking forward to, I, I it was just not available to me, you know. So there is no hungry man option, but we have other things. Like I said earlier, I wanted to go to uh, actually let me punch this up so you can get a better look here. I wanted to grab myself a diet option, you know. So I grabbed I grabbed this little shit right here. The Smart One Slow Roasted Turkey Breast thing. This, I believe, is a Weight Watcher product, you know? this uh, I think we're going to try this one first because this just screams low quality. I'm going, this, is going to, this is just going to be straight up ass. I'm not looking forward to that, you know? And then, aside from that, after, you know, if we're still alive, uh, our next installment of Goy Slop here is going to be the, boop, the Banquet... What does that even say? Turkey, turkey meal or some shit. I don't know. I can't even see it. But we're gonna jam with the banquet. Now, banquet is a name. You know, it's a name that I uh, I know. Usually, you go to like the other little cooler, and banquet are the ones that make those like little tray things. They'll have like the six chicken parmesan thing, or that little tray of like macaroni and cheese. You know, you, you, uh, us poor people know what we're talking about. You know what I mean? You all. I mean, friggin', you know what I'm talking about. That's the same company that makes that shit, you know? And then the third option, which is the, the high class, the, the Gordon Ramsay of the uh, uh, TV dinner things here, we are going to go for 
Le Stofias, roast turkey breast dinner, right here. Large size, no less. So, so we're looking, we're looking for a party with that one. But uh, you know, that, that's what we got ahead of us tonight. We're gonna eat ourselves some turkey here. We're gonna celebrate the uh, the Easter holiday. You know, let me uh, let me dip in here on the chat and see what's going on. Hi, uh, Charlesana. Cheers, friend. We had dinner early. Standard ham and all the fixing. The biscuits actually turned out perfect. Uh, me and my dad had Papa John's pizza because we are traditionalists. Papa John did nothing wrong. You know what I mean? Papa, you, you can always you can always respect Papa John pizza. You know. So you know, I, I hope you enjoyed your pizza, uh, Charles and Anna. You know, always great. You know, some biscuits would would touch this little little uh, feast I have off here and everything. But you know, it, it's glad to hear you all had some good food. You know what I mean? The uh, it, good food is the cherry on top of the holiday Sunday. You know what I mean? For uh, a lot of people, you know, the uh, the food is the uh, the focal point. By the time it gets on the table, you rarely just like look into uh, to head into it. But by the time it's thrown down in front of you, you already had a long and sometimes strenuous day of social interaction with the family. You know what I mean? You uh, at that time all the niceties that uh, transpired when you met, you know, like oh I haven't seen you in a while, have already taken place. You've already gossiped and shared the worst of the worst news that the family has to offer. You've talked shit about, you know, the the cousin or the uncle that's not there or, or that's in jail or whatever, you know. And when the food comes, you know, it's just such a great thing. You know what I mean? And and, and when you sit down in front of a plate of something that's you know, like piping hot and fresh, and it's just delicious, and it shows down, you know, it shows up at the right time, and you're sitting there, and you're eating it with your people, with your tribe, your family, you know, it's, it's just such a great experience, you know, and uh, I'm glad you guys had had that with you tonight, you know what I mean, it, it's really good to have that sometimes, <clears throat> but uh, me, nah, none of that shit, so I'm gonna tear right into, uh, we're gonna tear right into maybe the first, uh, First little dinner. This thing is so fucking frozen still, like... Well, I mean, it probably just sounds like me whacking on a box here. But, uh, yeah, guys, this, this thing is shit. Let me try to open this up and show it to you here. Oh, no, it's it's sort of flowing around in there. It's not bad. But, uh, yeah, can you guys, can you guys see that mess right there? Look at that. Flip it all. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh man, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a mess all over my streaming equipment, guys. This is gonna this is gonna suck. But uh, yeah, man, I'm gonna go throw this shit in the microwave. And I thought about that too. The uh, you know I watched a lot of streaming tutorials tutorials before I fray and I actually you know hopped out here and, and jumped behind the camera. And a lot of them lay down a bunch of rules. You know, uh, number one rule of streaming: don't do that. Number one rule: don't do that. One of the things I do all the time is show my control panel. So I, I've already I've already fucked that rule all up. But the other rule I say is never walk off camera. You know, always always stay there on stream. You don't want someone to click on your stream and to see just like an empty chair and no one's sitting there. You know what I mean? That that they they just they log right the fuck off. <clears throat> so what I did is I actually spent way more the time than I should have, like, researching, like, some of the commercials for these food, looking for the cringiest, horriblest, most just, like, bullshit commercials for, like, these TV dinners that I could find. So I, um, you know, I, I popped over on YouTube, and I found a few, and I figured that while I am off screen, um, you know, running into my kitchen to put this stuff in the microwave, I could throw these like cringe-worthy, shitty commercials up here on YouTube for you to uh, to watch. All right, we have one right here. Let me uh, click over to this. Whoops, I fucked that all up, didn't I? Um, oh god, I hate this shit. All right, where am I? I'm sorry about that, you guys. Let me try to hop up over here again. Pull this up. Oh my god, this is just, this is actually horrible. This is horrible. All right, all right, all right. This right here is the Smart Ones Lady in Red Pizza commercial for 2002. I tried to find the Smart Ones, uh, you know, turkey commercial. But I could not. So, I mean, I had to friggin... I had to pull this one up here. 
Uh, this one was pretty interesting for a little reason that I will tell you uh, when I get back. But let me try to throw this on. Hopefully you can hear it, and I will be back in just a moment after I throw this into my mouth. Now you can feel so like this quick and eat pizza. Introducing Smart Ones Pizza, a whole new line of personal pizzas with spicy pepperoni, diced tomatoes, and roasted garlic loaded with cheese on a delicious gourmet crust. But one morning, be ready to defend your turf. New Smart Ones Pizzas. When you're smart, it shows. All right. All right. Oh, not bad. It looks like I got here just in time to, uh, to shut that shit off. But, all right. Let me hop back over here. Now, let me know, did, um, did audio play for that uh, little commercial bit while I was off? Because I have, I have my headphones plugged into my, uh, you know, to my computer and everything like that, but I didn't throw them in. Let me know in the chat if that little, like, commercial section that I uh, just played had audio or not. You see here. Uh, bad luck. Oh, hey, Demon, what's going on? Oh, we got a lot of love for Papa John's in there. Uh, we had audio. Yeah, that, um, oh, man, let me, let me click back over to that for a second. Now, the, um, all right. Whoops, shit. I hope I went back there. The, um, for some reason, when... Uh, you know, I first saw that commercial, I'm like, oh, The Lady in Red, that song, like, stuck out, and I'm like, just, how sad is it that the person who wrote that, like, classic, uh, licensed it off to the Weight Watcher people to use in their shitty little commercial, you know what I mean? And for some reason, I thought it was, like, Roy Orbison that made the song, but then I'm like, oh, wait, something, whoops, something popped into my head, so I, I looked it up real quick, and it was this guy, Christy Berg. And something really interesting uh, popped up when I clicked on, like, what is the story behind The Lady in Red? And it says, you know, Lady in Red was written by Christa, it was written for Christa Berg's wife in honor of the first time he saw his wife, Diane. It was later revealed that he was having an affair with their 19-year-old nanny whilst his wife was in, hos in the hospital for a broken neck. So, I mean, that, that stuck out as a little tidbit I wanted to make sure I threw out there in the song, I mean, in the stream, that the, uh, the song that Weight Watchers used to promote their their little bullshit TV dinner was written by a philanderer who was banging his friggin' barely legal babysitter while his wife was all jacked up in the hospital <clears throat> with fucking with a broken neck. I mean, just how how horrible is that, right? Just just how just how how shit how how shit is that? But God bless them, bless their hearts, you know. <clears throat> but um, all right. The, uh, the time it took me to badmouth Mr. Uh, DeBerg for banging the babysitter was long enough it took for me to cook my little shit over there in the other room. So, once again, give me a quick second. I am going to run over there and, and grab it. I got my little plastic fork I grabbed at the supermarket. So, uh, yeah, let me go run over there, grab that shit, and once again, I'll be back. I have no snappy commercial this time, so, I don't know, amuse yourself while I'm gone. Uh, it's only going to take a second. I'll be right back. Oh, holy hell. Gosh, no. No, no, no. Bad idea. Bad, bad idea. This thing is fucking nuclear. Absolutely nuclear. Oh, man, I shouldn't have cooked it for so long. Fuck me running. All right, uh, we're going to give this stuff maybe a little second to uh, to cool down before I, I try it out. It uh, It's all sloshing around in there, though, and the time that this thing was in the microwave, it completely liquefied. This thing is gross looking. I get... All I can smell is a latex gimp pig mask. I'm trying to... S yeah, I'm getting nothing off it. Does not, does not have a food-like smell to it. Gosh. I have absolutely no expectations eating this thing. This, this is going to be shit. I mean, not only is it a TV dinner, which always is shit. It's a, it's a reduced calorie weight watcher jam. Yeah, this is going to be absolute shit. Oh, I shouldn't... I threw the box across the room in disgust. I'm looking at it. I can't even identify what this stuff is, you know? 
It reminds me of that part in the Matrix where they're all eating and talking about like what cream of wheat actually tastes like because that's what this looks like. There's no visual difference between what should be the turkey and what's in that little mystery compartment next to it. I gotta rip this thing open. This is this is gonna be shit. All right. Oh, this is gonna get everywhere too. Oh yeah. Oh, this is so. Actually, hold on a minute. I got an idea. Let me friggin... I'm gonna take a picture of this mess, mess, pull it up on Twitter, and then friggin bring it up on the screen, on the stream screen here. This is, uh... Oh my god, that's so fucking bad, though. Uh... You know, maybe this is like Weight Watchers because, like, the... The portion of what's supposed to be turkey here is so tiny. So very tiny. But let's uh let's throw that up on there. Let's see if I can fucking bring it up over here. Alright. It should be popping up here any second. Yeah. This is uh this is the mess we're about to friggin' to try out right now. Like that right there I guess is supposed to be turkey. I, I have no hopes. You know, that maybe that's potato, but it's it looks like maybe it's so fluid, man, it's so liquidy. But Alright man, we're going in. Shit. Oh my god, it's so juicy. Fuck me. Oh, I did not think this... Ah! It's dripping on me. Oh, fuck. All right, man. All right, we're going for it. Get ready for some ASMR, like, chewing, disgusting noises here. Mmm. No. The texture is way off. It is rubbery. It's not taste like turkey. It has some sort of weird gravy-like aftertaste. No, man, no. It. Uh, I wish I had the receipt so I could tell you how much this monstrosity cost. But like the the checkout lady forgot to put it in the bag. But I mean, I think this was only like three or four bucks, you know. But I right, want just just to make sure here. Yeah. No, nah, once again, the, the best thing I can say is that this tastes like turkey in the way that, like, a Burger King patty tastes, lo tastes like beef. You know, it's got an extremely artificial, like, mouthfeel to it, flavor, aftertaste, everything. It, uh, it's not, like, too salty, though, which I thought it might be, you know what I mean? So that that's going through well. So let me stir around this... I, I, I can't even eat the potato because if I try to like pull it out, it just drips through the uh, drips through the friggin' fork. Mmm. Potatoes cook good though. They're hot as fuck. <laughs> oh, those are real hot. It uh actually it I get. There's an instant potato taste behind it, and I mean, like, I am the type of piece of shit that eats instant potatoes from time to time, and that's not that horrible. So, I mean, the high point of the, uh, whatever the hell this thing, the, the smart one's turkey dinner is the nuclear liquid potatoes, because, the like, the turkey part is absolute shit. But, I mean, let me, uh, let me try to pull up friggin' this. I'll try to show you, like, that's, uh... Oh my god. Yeah, that's how much I had before calling it quits of that. This, um... I'll save off giving these things a rating till the end, just so I can, like, compare them against each other. But on its own, this, uh, this... No, this wouldn't... No, 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 no. That's bad. But let me, uh, let me cleanse my palate here a little bit. Ooh. 
but yeah, the uh, when I think of the Smart Ones brand or the the Weight Watchers brand of TV dinners, the only thing I I can think of is like who eats these things, and the only the only answer to this question is like douchey HR women. You know what I mean? Bring these things to work to eat at lunch. You know, to give the appearance that they care about, like, their diets and nutrition. Those can be the only people buying these things. Are, you know, like, just, I don't know. It's not a source of food. If you were hungry, that would not sustain you. If you wanted something flavorful, that would not please you. That was, that's just shit altogether, you know? But, uh, all right, let me think. Um... After that, I think we are going to move on to, all right, man, let's, let, let's go for this jam right here. That in, from here on in, I'm lining these things up in, on the strength of the commercials. Now, this commercial I found to be a little bit fucking on the cringe side. But the next one we're going to try here is the Stofa's Roast Turkey Breast Large Size Jam. 27 grams of protein, it says turkey medallions and and stuffing in this one so that's decent so it's pretty much the same party as the last time except we got a little bit of stuffing we got turkey medallions what the fuck is even a medallion it must be like those little sliced up pieces i don't even know uh home style gravy yeah i believe it and, and russet mashed potatoes no less let's uh oh jesus christ 63% of my day's worth of sodium, 25% of the cholesterol, a third of my saturated fat. This, this is why people are dying, you know. This shit is so unhealthy that Fauci himself could not have fucking made something worse. Ah, oh, it's fucking gross. Oh, it, same thing, though, a little, a little two-pocket party, you know, so you're going to have your, like, your little nuclear friggin' potatoes here, and then you, you, you medallions, and your friggin', I don't know, I'm not looking forward to that. But, now the commercial for this one, though, the commercial for this is a good time. Let me, uh, let me pull this one up here. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. all right. The, um... All right, are we on autoplay? This commercial I thought was friggin' in especially cringe County, because California, of the a few uh, miles is it north. playing. All right, it's not playing yet. This commercial I found to be especially cringe because of the voice actor in it. Like, it sounds like he's doing an especially violent and depraved true crime drama, like the way he talks. You know what I mean? And and it's just it's he's not doing it on purpose. I mean, the shit is just super fucking cringe his voice the way he describes it it sounds like menacingly evil in my opinion uh this little jam is from 1984 too so it's a stouffer's frozen lasagna dinner so maybe they had a different standard for cringe back then i don't know man but this guy's voice is just fucking unsettling you know what i mean it's really like he's he's doing one of those unsolved crime fucking documentary things but i'm gonna throw this on you know, the, the stream for you. I'm going to go throw the, the shit away, put the new shit in the microwave. I'm going to be back in just a second, you guys. So so you enjoy this. I'll, I'll see you in a minute here. Of the Monterey Peninsula, right. they grow a remarkably firm, bright red tomato. Stofus calls it the perfect murietta. Not quite as large as a tennis ball. It's juicy and meaty and filled with the hearty, rich taste of a great sauce tomato. Now you know one of the reasons why Stouffer's lasagna is as good as can be. Uh, ah. No. In Santa Clara yeah. County, California, a few but, uh, miles are we north playing this thing of the Monterey over? Peninsula, oh. they grow a remarkable Yeah, guys, do you, do you hear that guy? Like, isn't that tomato. creepy as shit, the way Stouffer's the guy sounds? calls it the perfect yeah. murietta. Not quite as large as a tennis ball. It's juicy and meaty it's and filled good. with the hearty, rich taste of a great sauce tomato. Now you know one of the reasons why Stouffer's lasagna oh, is as good as can... All right, let me get rid of that. But, uh, yeah, I mean... Let me get. Let me know how you guys think about that. But didn't he have some like almost Vincent Price esque like horror movie uh, 
the voice thing going on there. It just it was just strange to me that the way the guy sounded and everything like that. It just sounded way fucked up. <clears throat> but the uh, I don't know. The, the next commercial is a friggin' doozy. I mean, this woman's just off her tits uh, in it. She's got these big wild like AOC eyes and everything like that. I mean, this the, the lady in the next one is just fucking crazy. But I mean, it, that. That's what I did for you guys in my early afternoon, man. I sat here and I must have watched at least an hour's worth of like old 80s and 90s commercials just from these three brands trying to find something, you know, that would be entertaining for you guys to watch while I ran out into the other room, man. That's that's dedication to content, you know. But uh you know, it's it's always good to watch those like old time commercials. You know what I mean? It, it wasn't all bad. I mean, I I was going down the rabbit hole. You know what I mean? Remembering like, uh, like some of them you'll see the, like the family scene and everything like that, and and like sometimes the kids' clothes you'll be like, oh, I had a shirt like that when I was when I was that young. You know what I mean? And it, it was pretty cool watching all the stuff from the era. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, it was it was all just still commercials. It was all bullshit. You know. But, uh, I mean, the one shocking difference is, like, during the family commercials, they actually had white families that, that were, you know, all together. They had fathers and mothers that were white, children that were white. It didn't have the, uh, you know, the, the woke friggin' uh, diversity friggin' slant that you see in, in advertising today, you know what I mean? So, I mean, that in itself is, is refreshing, you know what I mean? It felt for the first time in a long time that advertisers were trying to reach out and sell a product to my demographic, you know, sell something to me, uh, directly. So, I mean, it, it's strange to get that, uh, that feeling, you know what I mean? I, I didn't want to say strange to get that connection, you know what I mean? Because like, I didn't feel connected to the product, you know, but, uh, you know, seeing those retro commercials, I definitely felt a connection to the era. You know what I mean? Those, those were good times back then. You know, I wish they lasted. I wish, uh, I wish the current generation could know that degree of safety and security uh, in America that, that some of us had when we were younger. But uh, I did hear my microwave beep, so I'll stop talking shit. Let me run over there, grab my, uh, what the hell is this, the Stouffer's Jam. So uh, give me one quick second. I live in a closet apartment. My kitchen is literally right there. I'll be back before you know it. So, you know, take good care. I'll be back in a second. All right, this is already a disaster because when I pulled it out of the microwave, the bottom of it is still ice cold. So, I mean, I don't know. At least we're not going to burn myself on this one. But, uh, I don't know. Just in case only the bottom is cold and the top is nuclear hot, I'm going to let it sit there for a second and try to, uh, you know, try to regulate some. But... All right. We got my little friggin' fork here. You know, I planned on, uh, <coughs> on you know, like, talking about, like, a couple topics or something like that while I was eating here. But this thing <coughs> is really uh, taking up a lot of the friggin', uh, you know, like, talking a lot of the stream. Man, but uh, while I was doing, like, the researching for this, I had some stuff going on the TV today about, like, that whole uh, puff, puff, poof daddy, puff diddy, diddly, whatever the hell. That whole thing that the raid and him being a handler and, and the... The, the, you know, trafficking charges being laid against him and everything, you know, and you're seeing all these old interviews pop up with the guy, and, like, people sitting next to him, and now, you know, it, now that you've seen what happened, you know, you can sort of, like, reinterpret some of his old interviews through a different lens, you know, and, uh, I don't know, man, some of that shit's crazy, man, it, it's turning out that he's, like, the hip-hop Epstein, like, he was running a, a fucking some kind of honeypot, uh, like, little sex fucking cult or something like that, so he could, like, blackmail, like, other people in the entertainment industry and everything. Oh, it's turning out to be super fucked. But, uh, I don't know, I wanted to shoot the shit about that. But like I said, you know, this friggin', uh, eating and preparing this food stuff is really taking a lot of the, uh, I don't know, effort or something like that, I guess. But let me pull up what, uh, let me pull up what I just pulled out of the microwave here. 
Ba -ba 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 -ba. All right. Whoops. Let me, uh, let's see where the hell we are. What the fuck? What? No, oh, no. Go away. What is this? Go away. Yeah, I fucked that all up here. All right. All right. It, um... Once again, there's no smell really coming off of this stuff, but I mean, I don't know. That and for, like, home-style gravy or whatever, it looks pretty damn dry. You know, this stuff, eh. The potatoes look a little... Oh, they're actually solid. Oh, wait. Oh, it's because they're cold. Well, eh, fuck it. All right, we're going to go potatoes first this time, then we'll try that nasty-looking stuff. I've seen dog food that looks better than this, you guys. You know what I mean? I just thought of something. I should lay these out on the ground and see which ones my cat eats. Oh, but I don't want to, I don't want to like curse my cat with eating this stuff. That, and they'll take some disastrous shits in the litter box later. I don't, I want them to do with that. The potatoes aren't bad, but they have like some sort of weird spice on it. I guess it must be really hard to fuck up an instant potato. That, that must be why they use it in these things so much. You know what I mean? It's really not that bad. I mean, for an instant potato, it's not, it's not good. But let's try, uh... Oh, this shit isn't stuffing. Hold on a minute. Those motherfuckers lied to us. That is a soggy crouton. That is not fucking stuffing, you guys. Stoff is, you pieces of shit. Oh, they... They did me wrong, you guys. There's nothing stuffing you. You can even see it. Like, look. Like, over in this little area right here is what I'm eating. Dude, those are... Look at... It's a wet fucking crouton. It's a soggy-ass little flavored piece of bread. Lion bastards talking about stuffing. I was almost excited for stuffing. You know what I mean? But this... Oh, man. This is a letdown. This is... I am not No, it's disgusting. As soon as you put it in your mouth, it gets all squishy. Oh, these fucking guys. This is the worst Easter ever, you guys. <laughs> all right, um, all right, we're going to go for we're going to go for that mess, you ready? Here. I'll even eat it up close so you can hear the squishiness of it. Here. Did you get any of that? Did you get that ASMR chewing swallowing thing? It uh Oh, the texture of the stuff, of this meat, is almost worse than the other one. This stuff, you, you bite into it, and it feels like it's been pumped with water. You know what I mean? It just feels like there's, there's some sort of, like, embedded moisture in it. You know what I mean? It doesn't it doesn't have, like, the feel that of animal meat. You know what I mean? Like, you, you're chewing through protein. It's just... No, man, it's like... It's almost like you can stick a straw in it and drink it. That's really unnatural feeling. You know what I mean? That doesn't that doesn't come off as food at all. That's pretty bad. But uh, the worst thing is, too, man, is I'm hungry. You know what I mean? I really didn't eat much all day because I thought I would have, like, three plates of food to eat tonight. But here I am, like, actually wanting to fucking eat something. And this stuff is just... I'm actually hungry, and I don't want to eat this stuff. What does this say about the Stouffer's friggin'... Oh. I'm, I'm going to give it one. Actually, let me let me try to combine the two. I'll get like I'll get some friggin' potato on top of the. Uh, all right. <clears throat> I don't know. It, I, I know what you're thinking, it, Magoo. You're obviously. Some type of food snob, I say. No, no, man. I eat anything. And most of my diet is is really bad, over-processed junk. Like, I, I eat crap. Not only that, I'm the type of guy who will throw his pizza box, like, just on top of the, the table or, or just, like, on top of the oven and come back to it, like, the next afternoon and still eat that crusty-ass leftover piece of pizza that's in there. Like, I have very low standards when it comes to food. And even this stuff... Is lower than friggin' what I would, what I would eat. Oh. 
Mm. No. No, I'm good. We have. Oh. Ooh. That leaves a. Uh, leaves an almost chemically taste in your mouth too afterwards. You know. You know all these companies are owned and managed by these huge globalist brands, you know, who allegedly uh, dump millions of dollars into research and development for their new products, you know, trying to give it that right flavor, trying to find that right mix of ingredients that makes it palatable, you know. But you are paying your research and development department, department for nothing, man. This stuff does not even resemble food. Not eat, no. I mean, I don't know. It, uh... Jesus Christ, it's bad, you know. The Stouffer's turkey TV dinner is so bad tasting that I actually need to smoke a cigarette to get the flavor out of my mouth. I have to actually smoke tobacco to get rid of the flavor of food. This this is this is a fail all around, man. We can't continue with this shit. Let me let me dip into the chat for a quick second here. All right, glad you're back, Magoo. Sorry I'm late. Oh, good to see you in the chat, Mr. Demon. Always a always a welcome addition to the uh, to the to the stream here. Chris DeBerg was a dog. Yeah, Jared D. Oh, good to see you, Screwhead. Hey, what's going on, man? Good to see you in the the stream. Good evening, JS. Hey, what's going on? Anon, what's going on? Happy Easter, Christ is King. Yes, yes. Uh, you know, I've seen a lot of Christ is King replies going on to Biden's day of transsexual visibility thing that's going on on Twitter right now. I don't know if you guys are aware of what's happening in that respect, man, but like, here on Easter Sunday, uh, arguably one of the highest holidays to the uh, the Christian faith, uh, the president, uh, you know, the friggin' the potato-in-chief, uh, declared it a national day of, of trans visibility and dedicated these 24 hours, not to Christ, mind you, to its ma'am, you know what I mean, to uh, to, to, to trans, to whatever the hell the term for it, trans, whatever, whatever they're calling themselves this week, to those people, the rainbow crew, you know what I mean, it's a slap in the face, you know, every opportunity that that bastard gets, man, he just likes to shit all over traditional culture, you know, Revolution can't happen fast enough, my friends. But um, it, we're moving on for the, to the the third loser of the night. I, I'm positive the banquet turkey meal here, man. This is this is what we're going for. You know, this one looks like it has some sort of vegetable concoction in it. So I mean, those those peas are at least going to be something. But Jesus, man. Oh God. I don't even want to fuck with this thing anymore. I don't even want to. It uh. Any of you guys in the chat eat some friggin' eat some TV dinners? Like, you know, I mentioned earlier that I eat shit, but I mean, I don't eat like this level of shit. It, uh, I eat an embarrassing amount of chicken nuggets. I'm not, uh, I'm not afraid to lie about that. They are just so easy to cook. You know what I mean? I can just open the bag, shake some out in, onto like the little cookie sheet, and just jam it in the oven for like 15, 20 minutes, and out magically comes food I can eat. You know? So uh, I, I eat a lot of those. And sometimes I, I, I like switch that shit up with like fish sticks too because you can just cook them in the same exact way, you know. So I, I eat a lot of that. Uh, I mean, I'm in no stranger to the uh, toaster oven burrito section of the uh, the supermarket frozen food cases, you know. But that's about as junky as I get. And I'm not eating that stuff every day, you know what I mean. I also eat a lot. Of, I eat an insane amount of like rice uh uh, steamed vegetables only because my rice cooker can steam vegetables at the same time so I, I eat a lot of that shit together and uh aside from that i usually get um like stir fry meat just so i can take like a couple strips and fry them up real quick and throw them in the rice and vegetables like i do actually eat healthy but when i do eat eat the goy slop like a, like yeah like i said you know it's nuggets and friggin micro uh toaster and burritos but uh this thing is definitely the most thought out of the bunch because it's dripping water all over the place. Dude, these things are a fucking disaster. I regret even buying these things. But this is this is the junk we're going to try to eat, man. Look at those look at those unnatural colored uh, uh, peas there. Look at that. Look at that. Someone man, someone in a boardroom somewhere seen this product and was like, "Yeah, fuck it. We'll call it food." 
This is maybe one step above the bugs we're eating here tonight, my friends. This is not quality. This is not four-star dining we are participating in. No, no, not a chance. But the one saving grace about the banquet dinner is their shit commercial. Guys, I saw this one, and, like, I, I seen it, and I'm like, this is the gem right here. This is the one. This is the, uh, this is the main attraction here. This is the third reel. So let me fucking... Let me uh, ba, 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 ba. let me scoot over here and try to pull it up. Real. Oh, my hands are all sticky. My table, my, oh, my desk is all fucked. This is the worst stream ever, you guys. Ever. Oh, this is this is shit. This is all shit. It's all falling apart. All right, let me pull this thing up here. Get you in full screen. All right. I said full screen. You don't look full screen, me. You're a little f no. No, stop. stop. Is this full screen? This isn't full screen, is it? Ah. Well, I don't know. I am going to go get rid of this junk. I'm going to throw this junk in the microwave, and you guys are going to enjoy this really bizarre fucking commercial. This one, I mean, this lady is just... I'll even rewind it, uh, or try to rewind it some. For, maybe I won't. Can't get on it. But, uh, yeah, man, I'll be back in a second. <laughs> what is it, Cynthia? What is it? Giblet gravy and sliced turkey. Yes, giblet gravy and sliced turkey, together in the most significant frozen dish of our time, Buffet Supper. Winner of three Banquet Academy Awards, Best Sliced Turkey. Best performance by a giblet gravy in a supporting role. Best performance by a housewife. I just put it in the oven, and by and by it was done. And I had a delicious buffet supper. Oh, yes, I did. Slices of turkey, all covered with gravy and little bitty giblets. Do you From the same producers who brought you Beef Stew, Salisbury Steak with Gravy. And the unforgettable chicken and dumplings comes the outstanding banquet production of the 20th century, giblet gravy this and sliced right turkey. Right. Colored by Paprika, now appearing citywide in a frozen food section near you. Is that the end of it? In Santa Clara County, oh, California, a few miles north... Ah, that was the wrong one. All right, that and I can't seem to fucking... Wow, this thing is seems all glitched out. I can't get the fuck out of it. But, uh, yeah, man, that commercial was friggin' was slightly off, right? Uh, that, that woman's crazy friggin' eyes and, and I don't know, man. I don't know. That one I saw, her, I was just like, yeah, I definitely got to throw that on there. But uh, if it loads up, I'll, I'll swing down here to see if there's any comments on it. Just want to make sure it doesn't autoplay. But, oh, yeah. The husband's expression as he begins to realize his wife is descending into TV dinner madness. Prices. Banquet should show this exact commercial on TV today. Frozen dinner noir. Yeah, man, I thought I thought that was a particularly decent one. You know, as far as you know, like little little shitty commercials go, you know. But uh, I don't know. It definitely definitely pretty decent. I I didn't think it was that bad. <clears throat> but uh, I don't know what did you guys think of that one? Definitely better than than the uh, the other two. All right. TV dinner stocks rise dramatically. If the stocks rise dramatically, it's it's just by accident, man. I've been I've been universally panning these things. You know, it uh I refuse to believe that there is actually a portion of the population that sustains themselves off these these things, man. They, they are just not no, it's not right. You know, the only uh it I can't even think of a market for them for like nostalgia reasons like you ate them years ago so you might like pick one up every now and again as a treat like i used to eat a, a lot of ramen noodles like i've said i've been poor my entire life you know what i mean and uh, even still to this day I, I pick up ramen noodles not because they're particularly good or healthy for you but but because they're like nostalgic you know what i mean especially in the winter time it's uh you know it's you're up late at night watching some bullshit whatever on the tv and everything like that you're like oh yeah man i'm, I'm gonna make myself a cup of noodles or i want to make myself a couple packages of noodles you know 
it uh, it just has that like like comfort food feeling, you know. That that's the only market I can think uh, for for these things, man, because they're, they're fucking they're so bad. It, it's just so disgusting. But my uh, my timer thing went off. Let me run over there, grab it. I'll uh, I'll be right back in a second, you guys. Sorry again for for hopping off the camera. I know it's horrible etiquette, but I mean. The only other option was to drag my microwave out of the kitchen and set it up by my desk, and that that's just that's just too weird. But I'll be right back, you guys. Give me a second. Alrighty, yo. All right, this one is definitely cooked. It's hot as fuck on the bottom here, but, uh, <clears throat> all right, let me, let me lift off the little protective heat shield fucking coating. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Guys, I don't even know what to do anymore. Everything is, everything is sticky, like my mouse and everything like that. Oh, I've got crap over everything, but let me, uh. Let me grab my gooey phone now and take another picture of this so I could put it up here. This one at least, I mean, if it wasn't for the friggin' really disgusting looking peas, this, I mean, this one, this one is probably the one that looks like the most like food, I guess, you know? Uh, doesn't look exactly like food, but it looks food reminiscent. Let me, let me throw that up there. Fucking... Grab, uh, put that on while I dial this shit up. Get you out of here. All right. The whoops. Ah. Oh man, I fucked that all up again, didn't I? I think I have like one of my hotkeys set to like one of my window commands or something like that. That's pulling up that weird fucking menu every now and again. But um, all right. This. This is what I was talking about, man. It has a sort of real, real food look to it. The potatoes look like it at one time might have actually been scooped. That, not buying it, not buying it for a minute. That shit's way unnatural. Peas don't look like that. Ah, oh, man, I don't know. Guys, I'm going to go for the peas, man. I'm going to try it. Fuck it. Ooh. Yeah, those are hot. And absolutely flavorless, man. Those taste like nothing. Those taste like absolutely nothing. It has a texture to it, though. Like little... I don't know. They almost have like a... A waxy coating on the outside that you have to like sort of chew through. Right, let me try it again. Just really hot. Yeah, that tastes like absolute shit. There's no, there's no vegetable taste to that at all. That's horrible. All right, man, we're going, we're going potato here. Well, that is potato E. It is the worst potato of all three. It uh, it just has like this weird dark taste to it, you know. Not a fan. Not a fan. That end. Look how thin this thing is too. Like there's there's not a whole lot here in the first place. But we're gonna go for we're gonna try some stuff in here. No. Wet croutons, but it has stuffing flavor to it. So, I mean, better than the last crouton. Let's, let's try the, the horse meat or whatever the hell they're trying to sell to me here. Ah, fuck. Oh, my God. Whoa. The stuff is resistant to the fork. I'm going to have to take, like, a whole slab and just fucking 
Guys, this is... Fuck. Oh. It's taken me a moment to come up with the words to describe how shitty that was. If I had to sneak up behind a horse and take a bite out of its raw ass, that's what that would taste like. That is not good at all. That is not meat-like. That is not pleasurable. It's chewy. It tastes fucking really bad. Guys, I'm not just doing this for, like, the lulls or anything like that. This is bad fucking food. You know what I mean? Oh. Uh, all right. Just, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fuck with it one, one last little. Mm. Even, even that was too much, guys. I hope you really appreciate what I did for you guys here tonight. It, uh, I must have had 300 times my daily recommended amount of sodium. That All that stuff was gross. All that stuff was gross. <clears throat> oh, Jesus Christ. It, uh, nothing beats a home-cooked meal. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm sure that if I would have taken the time to get actual food and, and like, put it together tonight, it would have been better than this. I mean, I don't know. Uh, the saddest thing is I had three plates of food in front of me tonight. And even after the stream, I'm going to walk into the kitchen and be like, man, I need something to eat. This stuff is just, it's not good. And there's a part of me that's deathly afraid of the shit I'm going to take in the morning after eating these questionable substances, chemical-based, meat-esque things. There's, there's, it's going to be like, it's going to be like dropping cottage cheese out my asshole. I can tell already, man. This is just, it's going to be a horror show in the bathroom tomorrow morning. Nothing can save me at this point, man. Oh. But I don't know. Now, I'm sure that there are better t TV dinner options. You know what I mean? Like like all that shit I was talking about, like the Hungry Man dinners earlier. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm sure that there's one brand of those that are okay, you know? I mean, I'm sure that a lot of people would dump on, like, Hot Pockets. You know what I mean? But I will fight to the grave that the meatball Hot Pocket is good. You know what I mean? If, if I'm going to have to eat the Hot Pocket, I'm going to go for the meatball one because I know that one's all right. A lot of people will argue for the pepperoni. I'm halfway there. That shit is just way too salty. You know what I mean? But the meatball hot pocket, it's a potty. You know what I mean? It's a good time. I'll fuck with it. You know, so maybe just like there's good hot pockets. I mean, maybe, maybe there is a good Swanson dinner. Maybe there is a good whatever the fuck the Weight Watcher one was. You know, maybe, maybe there is. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just these particular ones I got. I don't know. But, uh, ooh. So I got a little bit of that horse meat stuck in my tongue there, in my tooth there. That was, mmm. It's the flavor that keeps on giving right there, my friends. Um, I don't know about that. But, uh, oof. You know, this is the type of stuff where if I burp sometime, like, late tomorrow afternoon, I'll probably still taste it. You know, this shit is just so fucking disgusting. You know, and I, I'm sorry to be so, like, so graphic about this, but let it serve as a warning not, not, not to try this shit. Don't buy it. Don't buy it, man. Even if, uh, even if you're dirt goddamn poor, and and the uh, the idea of a three dollar plate of of meat and potato and and oof, oh my god, I'm gonna die on YouTube, guys. Oh fuck, but uh, you know, it, oh Jesus, man, no. But uh, even if the idea of a plate of food for three bucks is, is appealing to you, man, this this isn't your score. This is not this is not the way. You know, uh, 
shit. You would probably get more flavor and nutrition out of just eating $3 bills out of your pocket than you would picking up any of that, that Stouffer's banquet shit or whatever. You know, it's, it's just bad. It's just bad. But uh, let me take a peek in on the chat, see what you guys are saying here. Uh, horse meat comes from the Aditi. Where's the Swanson Hungry Man dinner? JS, it, uh, I was talking about that at the beginning of the screen, man, uh, the stream. Uh, hungry Man does not offer, like, a turkey dinner, like a basic turkey dinner, like this shit with, like, potatoes and stuffing or whatever. All their stuff is, like, beer battered dap chicken, uh, beer battered dipped chicken and, like, seasoned steak things and they're like it, it seems like they're going for like a more craft menu i i went for the hungry man you know i feel like if there was hungry man somewhere on tonight's menu i would have been more satiated i wouldn't have been so disappointed i really feel like like hungry man would have fucking would have saved the day would have swooped in like the motherfucking clock kent and, and gave me something good to eat man it uh i don't know in that regard i feel like hungry man let me down forced me to eat weight watchers shit like some sort of beta cuck. All right. Uh, I gotta say, this is way more entertaining than some cooking show. I hope you entertain me, because I feel like I took a hit for you guys. You know what I mean? That stuff was not good to eat. Definitely my first Hungry Man ASMR. The Mandela Effect. You're being poisoned in every direction. I know I'm being poisoned in every direction. That's the worst part, man. Like... At one at one time, all that stuff that I ate was based on real food. You know what I mean? It was it it was food. You know what I mean? But then these companies just did shit to it, processed it, it 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 slapped and tickled it, like fucked with it in so many ways. Chemical pumped it, hormone injected it. You know it. Uh, God, they took all the 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 benefits of the food away and and added worse stuff to it and put it on a plate in front of me and charged me three and a half bucks for it. You know, it should be a crime. I mean, that that stuff literally is poison. Like, you can't eat that every day. You would get sick. You know? Let's see. Uh, I'm eating some crackhead on the package on the assembly. Yeah. Dang. Hungry Man had a turkey dinner? It, I looked for the Hungry Man. man. It, granted, there was only like three or four options there. Man, but I, like I said, I would have loved the Hungry Man. If they would have had a turkey dinner, I would have fucked with it. Oh, it came with a dessert, apple cobbler dessert. Yeah, dessert would have been a dessert would have been clutch. You know, even if it was that little bullshit brownie that 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 you have to like fucking like fucking scrape out of there. Even that stuff would have would have freaking set it off. Thank you for your service. It's bad, Monsanto. Yeah, most restaurant chains in the U.S. serve grade F beef. <clears throat> I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. You know, sometimes, uh, sometimes I see the commercial for like Applebee's and they'll be like, oh, you know, we're serving new, new Wagyu steak, you know, come down and, you know, come down and, and, and grab some or something like that. And you know that this like some fucking, some strung out fentanyl fucking tripping, just crackhead back there earning minimum wage, making your Wagyu steak and everything like that. It's just such a sham. You know, it's not worth it to even go out to like you stand at Applebee's or, or whatever. I mean, even even Cracker Barrel is, is questionable. And I, I used to really like going there, you know? But uh, I don't know. It. Uh, I think if you're going to go out, you know, to dine, especially these days, you know, it, pay a little bit extra, make it special. Go to an actual, like, like restaurant. You know what I mean? Somewhere where they're going to check your coat. Somewhere where... Uh, you know, someone with actual culinary experiences in the kitchen. You know, you'll you'll pay more, yeah, but the experience will mean more because you'll have better food and a better time. You know, so I mean that 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 that's my viewpoint on on going out to eat. You know, petri dish, three D printed meat. I'm extremely careful who cooks my food. Yeah, tell me you're not pissed off. I'm not really pissed off. I mean, I you get you know you get what you fucking deserve. You get what you pay for. You know what I mean. I knew, I knew going into this, I was going to be eating some some stuff. You know, some three D printed meat. Oh God, that last one too. Like this stuff that's still in front of me. That oh man, that that stuff was bad. That was bad. You know, 
it uh if my cats were around i would literally throw these things on the ground and see if they they went over and ate them i mean they'd probably like like lick the gravy up but i don't think they'd eat any of the friggin the meat on it <coughs> you know i they, i think you know homeless people would turn their nose at this shit it, it, it's pretty bad it's pretty bad you know? but uh you know thanks for sticking sticking around with me you know uh through all that bullshit you guys uh <coughs> You know, <coughs> oh shit! <coughs> if you want to see me, you know, like <coughs> review more stuff, like in the future or something like that, or, or you know, eat some crazy shit, you know, always throw me tips and everything like that. I'm always looking for input. Input. The uh, like the hardest part about the streaming thing isn't like the technical aspect, you know, like running the control panel or switching the scenes and having stuff up. It's uh, it's the content. It's actually coming out here and having you know something to do. You know, it, it, it's pretty, it's pretty difficult sometimes. The, um, uh, you know, uh, the idea for more like, uh, Steam game streams came up and actually before the, uh, before the stream tonight, I actually hopped up on there. Actually, I might even be able to, uh, yeah, let me see if I can pull that shit up now. And, uh, I came across something that actually looked pretty good. Let me try to, um, all right. Let me try to come this up. Yeah, this is what, uh. This is what I was looking at here. Uh, Slay the Princess. Uh, is anyone friggin' in here that fucks with chat, uh, with Steam games, play this stuff? Let me try to, uh... Where the fuck is the line here? Uh, how the hell do you restart this fucking thing? I'm a mess. This, this thing is a mess. Her cheeks. I wish it didn't have to end like this. Yeah, it's too but uh, to I just came across this. I sort of like the art style to it. Everything goes dark. It's uh, it's some like text-based horror died. thing, which I think will translate good on stream. I'm a I'm a console gamer, so I don't want to like half-ass my way through some friggin' you know like mouse and keyboard game. It just wouldn't I be good for the uh, the viewer. You know what I mean? Me. I, I would suck at the game. I'd Days keep getting friggin' killed and everything. But uh, something like this looks I pretty decent. You know what I mean? It had good reviews. Slay the princess, but uh, hopefully, yeah, it looks you know it looks semi decent. You know what I mean? It has a good little art style here to it. But you know, let's see if I can get this one up here. <coughs> yeah, I think uh, like this is only twenty bucks. I mean, as soon as I I saw like this art style, like this black and white sort of thing. It kind of grabbed me, and if it's a darker, you know, like, story, you know, all the better. That, and at only 20 bucks, I mean, I don't mind throwing down, you know, a little bit of money or something like this for a, uh, you know, for a decent stream if it's a good game. I don't know how, uh, how long it would run, you know what I mean? I'd hate to keep you guys out here, like, like two or three hours to try to get through, like, a, a standard game. But, uh, I'll look into this, see how long it takes, and, uh, if it's something that, like, we could take care of in, like, one stream, or maybe cut it up between two. You know, I might, uh, I might throw some coin down for this for next week. There's also, um, you know, we're talking about another game out there that, that's been out for a while. A couple other people have streamed it, but it's, it's sort of controversial. It's, you know, kind of in the, uh, kind of in the theme of the, uh, like the last Steam game we played with the little friggin', uh, woman and all her little choices. That game was just such shit, though, you know what I mean? But, but... I mean, this one might be a little bit better, but, uh, you know, if something like that is something you want to see, like, let me know. Like, uh, I said it before, this, this is like a, uh, community based thing. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm just the idiot behind the keyboard frigging clicking the buttons. You know what I mean? We, we can, we can, we can drive this Titanic into whatever iceberg you guys want. You know what I mean? Just point the direction and I'll fucking, I'll, I'll full steam ahead us right into that mess. I don't give a shit, you know? So if you got an idea or thoughts or something like that for stream, throw it out there. You know, it, it's greatly appreciated. Hmm. But, uh, let me see. You need to play Detroit Become Human. Please, re please read this, Magoo. Magoo. This looks like a DMT trip from the filters. How can a TV dinner give a pig man emphysema? Ah. Uh, oh, gotta run. Oh, 
Take good care, JS. Happy Easter, man. Th thanks for stopping by the stream, man. It's always good to see you. Enjoy the rest of your night, man. Take good care. Uh, Softcore horror plots kind of irk me. Ace of spades. Yeah, no doubt. Detroit Become Human. Watch a trailer for the game. Is it on Steam? Let me, uh, can I search that shit in any way? All right. Oh, Detroit Become Human. I ain't paying $40 for no goddamn game. I feel like I got ripped off from the last game, and that shit was only like 15 What is this? Yes, I want mature content. Y you need to put the fucking... Yes, frequent violence and gore. Fuck yeah. Nudity, yes. Give it to me. You're like, oh, yeah. Give it all to me. Adults only sexual contents. Yes, give me it all. Hotter, daddy. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, nah, they'd know I was lying. All right, fuck it. I was born in the 70s. All right, is this what I'm looking for right here? Is this it? All right, let me grab my... Uh, 40 bucks is just too much, though. This looks good, though. Oh, cheeks. Yep, do it. No. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, I thought I switched the scene over. I, it, my name is I thought you were all watching this trailer too. No, but you're all just sitting here watching me look at my it. I'm sorry, you guys. Stop the deviants. That's what I was designed to be. But what I do now is up to you. Oh, that was a horrible stream and mistake. But uh let me see if I can restart the uh the video here. Oh. It uh it doesn't look that bad. Graphically it looks alright. I mean, forty dollars is a little bit more of a price point than I'd want to throw down, like, like for a game that I would play on stream. But uh, definitely looks good. The graphics look real cr uh, crisp. The cinematics. Yeah, I mean, that, that shit didn't look all that bad. You know what I mean? It, uh, I don't know. I'm more of a uh, a console gamer. You know, like I said earlier, I'd be real, um, it, I'd be real out of my element playing on a mouse and keyboard. You know what I mean? Plus, I'm, uh, I'm also left-handed. You know what I mean? So I use, like, I use the, the, the mouse on the left side and everything like that. And that's just, it almost kills the, uh, the ability to play uh, a lot of online games like effectively you know what i mean especially anything like multiplayer or, or like fast paced you know <clears throat> but uh it, it definitely looks decent and everything i uh you know it mostly i'm a uh i'm like a console gamer you know and i got friggin what the hell is it i have uh where is it i just got this like little video capture card here but uh, I've yet to set it up like to my Switch. What the hell is it? Yeah, I just got one of these jams here like a week or two ago. But uh, you know, I, I find uh, 
the little fucking the cable they gave me for this thing is is ridiculous like yeah look at this shit this is that's it you know what i mean this is this is it this shit's like a friggin you see this that that's all man it's like maybe two feet long you know what i mean how the hell am i supposed to like hook this shit up to my uh my tv my switch that into uh to get all that over to like my desktop so I can like run it through my streaming software and get it online. I'm going to need like 30 or 40 feet of fucking HDMI cables. You know, either that or I'm going to have to like pull all my stuff out into the middle of the room just so I could do it. You know, and that's before I even like set the camera up or any or the microphone up for any sort of like like game streaming. You know what I mean? I have no idea how the fuck I would do any of this. It's just it, I don't have the space for it. My apartment's not set up this way. You know, it, it's definitely going to be a challenge. Either that or just have, like, the most bootleg-ass looking setup. Like, you, you'd click on it and it would just be me sitting, like, on the arm of my couch at an angle trying to, like, get on the frame of the camera so I could play. It'd, it'd be fucking... It'd just be trash. It'd be trash. Oh, whoops. But, uh... I don't know. You know, that's always... That's always something. But let me, uh... Let me take another look here in on the uh, fucking sick. Good graphics. Yeah, the graphics look good. Now, you've played this, right? That's like, that's gameplay grade graphics, or is that like like the stuff we were looking at was like the cinematics? You know? um, it's action based on four buttons. When you make decisions, certain reactions happen. You don't really play like on normal games. It's similar to a dialogue-based ones. It's playing except a way better storyline. Copy that. RPG. Oh, multiple people have played this, huh? Watch a video on YouTube, not a Steam. Oh, man, now if I'm getting, like, multiple recommendations for something. Oh, man, now, now I mean, if it's, like, universally accepted, I don't know. That, and it puts more pressure on me to be good at it now. You're like, guys, I really suck at friggin' at, uh, uh, PC games. I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a console guy. I'm, I'm a simple man. You know what I mean? I'm not, uh, oh god, that and, I mean, I have some, like, I have some bullshit HP computer that I grabbed out of Wally World the day my laptop fried, you know what I mean, this is not a, a top of the line gaming, uh, rig I have here, you know, if, uh, it'd probably be, like, all laggy and shitty, I don't know, but, uh, I don't know, it, on the strength of the recommendation that it is getting from such esteemed members of the show and of the chat, I, I will, promise to uh to look into it further you know what i mean I i'll definitely fuck with it you know but uh let me see what time we're looking at uh uh i don't know uh, you know i think i'm gonna aim towards uh wrapping up the show a little bit you know <clears throat> uh not before i give a huge uh thank you out to you guys for stopping by you know i hope um uh I hope you all had yourself a really good um, Easter. You know what I mean? You had a really good uh, holiday. You know, you were able to reconnect with friends or family or loved ones that you haven't talked to in a while and catch up and that you got that little warm glow from knowing that they are okay and that they are moving along in life just fine and that, you know, everything is, is working out. You know, I, I really hope that for all of you. Uh, you know, the... Uh, the last thing I wanted was for someone to be out there tonight alone, not thinking that they had someone that they could reach out and connect with. You know what I mean? So if you are that person, you know, sitting there silently watching the show, you know, I, I feel for you, man. You know, keep, uh, keep up, keep moving forward. You know, keep, uh, keep walking down that path. You know, things, uh, things will work out. You know, things, things might seem shitty, but they get better, you know? And, uh, you know, so, you know, in that case, I mean, in that regard, you know, I, I hope I got to, uh, you know, spend uh, Easter evening in a meaningful way with somebody out there. I, I enjoyed it as much as, as it was a flavor nightmare and a texture disaster going down. And at the, the party that I'm going to have on the shitter in the morning <clears throat> before I have my morning coffee, it will be nothing short of divine it's i'm gonna have it it's like a whole it's it's a party all in itself man i can't wait for that but uh i am going to get running so i can grab my disinfectant wipes and wipe down this chemical gravy and this friggin i don't know toxic 
crouton bread stuffing that is encrusted over everything here on my computer. Oh my god, this this is the messiest thing I've ever done, guys. I, I, I'm wearing half of the stuff. It's fucking gross. But, um, yeah, whatever. Still had a good time, man. Um, you know, if you enjoyed the, uh, the stream, feel free to, uh, hit it off with a like. Um, if you are new, you know, we do this stuff, uh, every Sunday, uh, at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. I don't know whatever time that might be in your zone, but, uh, you know, we do this little community-based get-together every week. You know, it's always good to, uh, to stop in and check on each other, see how everyone's doing, see if there's any new, uh, new developments, you know. But, uh, you know, you're more than welcome to uh, to come next week. If uh, if you even want to go like the full nine yards, you know, uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel. You know what I mean? It always it always feels good to me to come in to see that little notification that someone thought like all the shit that we're doing out here is worth their attention. You know, so it's always good to see new subscribers. You know, new likes and comments. So, uh, oof. Uh, you know that. Thanks again in that regard. But um. Yeah, my good friends, I am going to, uh, I'm going to hop off out of here, you know, once again, wishing you all the best um, Easter evening that you can possibly have, and I really hope things that go well for you uh, next week as well as in the future, and um, I will look into that, that game again, and I don't know, uh, feel free to follow me on Twitter, you know, shout out and say hi, I post low-class, horrible memes all the time, I steal them from people too, so be warned, I, I might take one of yours, but uh you know, feel free to reach out and say hi to me during the week. And if not, I'll see you here um, next Sunday at 7 for our, our next little get-together. All right, guys. So, you know, thanks for watching. Uh, keep yourself safe. Stay out of trouble and be well to each other. Okay? Take good care.